Hi, I'm Steve Keen, a Franciscan friar studying at CTU in Chicago. I'm going to share with you a little bit about our day today in the Holy Land. Our first stop this morning, we went to a place called Tel Megiddo, which is an important location because it was along the trade route in between Egypt and Mesopotamia. So a lot of people would pass through here. And it had a continuous population over 5,000 years. People actually lived in this area and over 20 different uh, civilizations would have lived there. And the most interesting part is you could actually see the difference in the rock. You could see levels of where perhaps these different civilizations would have lived uh, over the course of that 5,000 years. Um, so it was really interesting to see this location, to see the trade route, and to experience it firsthand. The next stop, we stopped at uh, Mount Carmel, which was just a beautiful site, a beautiful lookout, scenic. And at that site, we did the readings from 1 Kings chapter 18 where we learned about the prophet Elijah and how Elijah spoke with the prophets, 450 prophets, to the god Baal. And he spoke to them and said that whoever's God is the true God will be made known through fire. And, and through this action, we see God making himself known to the people um, through Elijah, that it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who is the true God. And then for the last stop uh, this afternoon, we stopped at Caesarea, uh, which is located right on the Mediterranean. Um, and this was a very interesting site because it was where King Herod would have built a huge area, a temple, in the first century BCE. In addition to that, we also learned that th this was the site where St. Peter, where Peter would have traveled to meet Cornelius. Um, and Cornelius would have been a Gentile convert to Christianity. So it's a significant place as we see the Christian faith move from the resurrection site in Jerusalem out to, almost to the Mediterranean Sea, to Caesarea. So as you can see, it was an awesome, awesome time in the Holy Land, and I hope you can join us next year on the trip. Peace and all good.